closer to home, some scary moments inside two Groveport Madison schools. The buildings were on lockdown for much of the day because of a SWAT situation. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ellie Merritt. I'm Mark Taylor. Police say a nearby domestic violence situation escalated into a standoff with SWAT officers. And the schools were put on lockdown as a precaution. New at 5, NBC4's Ted Hart is live at the Madison Township Police Department with more on how this all unfolded. Ted? Yeah, well, police say that this started as a domestic dispute between a man and his girlfriend and then just snowballed. What ended with the arrest of Daniel Collins had started with an argument in the front yard. Dan turned on, walked away, and went in the house, and his girlfriend went right in after him. And what happened in the house, I don't know, but next thing I know, there's police all over the place, and <laughs> he wouldn't come out. Police say the girlfriend called her father and told him Collins wouldn't let her leave. The father took matters into his own hands. The father kicked the window of the resident's basement window in, grabbed a hold of the female, attempted to pull her out of the window. Simultaneously, the suspect uh, grabbed a hold of her feet and pulled her back in. Police say she was then able to break free and ran out the front door where police were waiting. The suspect told police he wasn't coming out, but then managed to get out the back of the house unnoticed and run into the woods. Sedalia Elementary and Groveport Middle School North were both placed on lockdown. Police say Collins eventually called his mother who helped him surrender to police. Collins has a criminal history that includes theft and drug charges. He has quite a history, quite a history with the department. We're well versed with him, and uh, unfortunately he does have a, a drug abuse problem too that, that we've attempted to help him with as well. And police say the girlfriend suffered some minor injuries. Collins was arrested and charged with domestic violence and assault. He's scheduled for arraignment tomorrow morning. Live in Madison Township, Ted Hart, NBC4. Tonight, Columbus.